the sixth annual BRICS Summit took place last week. CNBC Africa's Nozipo Mbanjwa caught up with Brand South Africa's CEO Miller Matola and asked him whether the summit was successful. Let's hear what he had to say. Well, uh, the summit has actually been you know, a success, not only for South Africa, but uh, for the continent. Um, I believe that uh, you know, the BRICS Bank or the New Development Bank is a step forward in terms of uh, realizing the objective of industrialization on the continent, but also you know, focusing on infrastructure development. So indeed, it is a success for the continent, for South Africa. There were some initial concerns that uh, not bagging their headquarters and instead getting the regional center might be perceived as some sort of disappointment. What is your response to that? No, not at all. In fact, it's not, it's not a disappointment. Uh, if, if anything, actually, is going to focus our attention on the continent. The fact that you know the regional headquarters would be in, 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 in Africa will ensure that uh, you know African development issues are center stage. And of course, we saw a number of agreements being signed uh, amongst the ministers of finance and uh, the heads of the various development banks. Again, what does this mean for the broader engagement of the group's member countries with the continent? Well, what you're seeing is that uh, the BRICS now has moved from being just an investment banker's concept to a real solid uh, partnership for development uh, as well as growth on the continent. And I think that uh, is uh, something that bodes well for our continent in terms of infrastructure development and uh, cooperation and technology innovation in various spheres, that can only be good for the continent. Mm. And of course, uh, we've handed over chairmanship uh, to BRICS. If you were to quantify uh, or give a value to South Africa's brand equity over the last 12 months, how would you say that's been impacted? Well, it's actually been impacted positively. If you heard what everyone said here, is that South Africa has actually acquitted itself well in terms of the work that was done within the BRICS Business Council, all the meetings that were supposed to be called and the plans put together on priority focus areas actually were accomplished. And in fact, what you're seeing is the culmination of you know, months and months of work by both government and business, and hence the bank, bank, you know, the bank that we see now, as well as the you know, contingency reserve arrangement, it's actually something that uh, is born from the, all the work that was done up to now. What should be the agenda for South Africa in particular? Let's talk about the BRICS Business Council um, that we no longer have a South African chair. What should be top of mind now? Well, what's going to be top of mind is obviously increased cooperation, ensuring that uh, we can uh, you know, increase two-way trade. And part of some of the things that were said is that we need to move just beyond that and look also at people-to-people -people relations and ensure that government can support uh, areas where, for instance, uh, visa, business visas. I think we are going to see a lot more concrete involvement and actually business transactions happening uh, as a result of some of the pushes that were made by business uh, here today. And uh, earlier today, we had an opportunity to actually catch up with Vel uh, Zuelin Zimbabwe, who's also here. Uh, a meeting with the different unions uh, uh, alongside uh, the BRICS summit. Do you think it was a blind spot uh, for the BRICS summit not to include the voice of Labour from the onset? Well, I wouldn't say it was a blind spot, but I think uh, you know you have to make progress uh, with uh, a coalition of uh, those who are willing. And I think to the extent that now uh, you know Labour sees their important relevance of the BRICS and they are on coming on board, that can also uh, be good for us in South Africa. But indeed, you're quite right. We they need to come closer to the process, but also ensure that uh, they make a contribution. The challenge going forward is growth. It's inclusive. It's sustainable growth, and all parties have a role to play in that. And uh, Labour is critical for that. There was great talk of competitive of productivity, of you know, things are bringing, bringing costs down. Those are not things that are only for government or for business. It, labor has a role to play in that. And I think the more we can build the social compact, the better for us. Mila Matola is the chief executive of Brand South Africa.